In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to prove your right to work in the United Kingdom as an immigrant in this year. First thing first, what is a right to work? A right to work in the UK is your right to engage in activities or jobs that get you paid in the UK. And this can depend on a lot of things, including the type of visa that you have. So if you have a work visa, for example, your right to work might not be the same as someone who is on a student visa before. So in the instance that you are looking to work with a particular company, one of the things that they are going to need is your right to work certificate. And this can be gotten online. As long as you have your BRP with you, this is something that you can get online. I'm going to show you real quickly how you do that to get your share code which are going to share with the employer in order to confirm your status and your right to work in the United so Kingdom. So I am on my computer now. All you need to do, you can do this on your phone or on your laptop. What you need to do is to go to um, google.com and type in right to work. First thing that you see is prove your right to work to an employer and it's by the gov.uk website so you see that it's gov.uk click on it and i'm going to be leaving the link also in the description box below and then it tells you that you can prove your right to work to an employer so in this instance you are going to be getting your share code it is this share code that you are going to give to the employer and then the employer is going to do their check and then they'll confirm that yes, you can work in the United Kingdom. But let's just dive into it. Because you can work more than 20 hours now, you might need to have more than one company supplying you with job. Because there's a lot of people looking out for jobs. So they might not have unlimited work hours for you. So it is just wise for you to have three, four, you know, agencies to work with. So in this case, what you need to do is get on this page. Once you get on this page, it tells you that you can share details of your right to work in the UK, including the types of job you are allowed to do, how long you can work in the UK for, and now it's telling you what you will need. So you need only one of the following. You need your biometric resident permit number or your biometric residence card number or your passport or national identity card. Now, because you came into the UK on a work visa or a student visa, I would just say try and use your BRP. Of course, everybody has BRP. So I'm going to be using BRP for this particular one. And then if you're an employer, you must view a job's applicant right to work details before you employ them. So that one is a different one. This is for employers. So now what you need to do is start now. So you click on start now and it's going to bring this for you. So tell us about your immigration status. I have UK visas or I have status or I have a biometric resident card or permit. So I'll just click on this uh, biometric residence card or permit and continue. So it will ask you if you have a biometric resident card or permit. Yes. It's also known as a visa. Continue. What they need is your number is the number on the upper right side of your card as you can see it's it is as you can see it is self-explanatory it is this number on your card that you need so i'm just going to enter mine now and i'll click on continue it will ask you for your date of birth so there you have it you get this page that categorically states your full name so to state your name and say, oh, you have permission to work in the UK from so-so time to so-so time. Usually it's 12 December 2024 for everybody right now because there's a change coming to BRP cards and BRP numbers by December 2024. So details on your current visa, you must work for your sponsor while you are in the UK. That's because I am on a work visa. If you are on a student visa, you might see something different here. And you can only work in the roles described. You can also work in a part-time job or 20 hours a week. It's one of the following. Like I said, this 20 hours per week has been adjusted. And you can work for as long as you can till August of 2023. So this should not deter you from working on limited hours until August 2023. What you need to do is that you need to scroll down and see the instructions. Now they are saying do not give this page to your employer. It is not proof. Of your right to work so this in itself is not proof of your right to work to share your details with an employer you need to create a share code 
so now we are going to be creating a share code and then here i have it these are the details to give to your employer so this is my share code so wte blah 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 so this particular code is what i am going to copy is what i'm going to write out and send to the employer or the agency who wants to confirm whether you have the right to work in the uk or not basically each share code that you generate always has an expiry date so for this particular code it expires on 4th of july 2023 i can still share it with as many employers and um, agencies as i want until this particular date and what to do next give the share code and your date of birth to the person you want to prove your right to work to to see your right to work they must enter the share code and your date of bad ads you know contact them to make sure they have all the information they need and you know another good thing that i love about all this is that you can actually just print this page and then scan it to your employer so that they will know because basically some employers and some agencies they are clueless about what to do in this situation. They don't know for real. They don't know what to do. So when you print out this page and you send to them, they already see that they are supposed to go to this place and they will just go there, you get. Or another thing you can do is to send this code by email. So if you decide to send it by email, it's going to ask you to enter the employer's email address. So once you enter the employer's email address and click on continue, they will just send your share code automatically to the employer's email for the employer or the agency all they need to do is to go to a website stated by uk government www.gov.uk slash view right to work and then they can check a job applicant's right to work by using their share code they just click on start now and it's going to ask for the share code they paste the share code then they click on continue enter the date of birth of the employee and then they impute their own company name and so this is what the employer or the agency is going to see so they will see that the person has permission to work in the uk from so so time until so so time and the same details that you saw earlier on your own page this is what they will be seeing on their own page also and in addition they are going to be telling them to be careful and to avoid a penalty they need to check that you look like who is in the uh, passport photograph and then they need to keep a secure copy of this online check either electronically or in art copy and then they need to do this check again by the expiry date and they can also print out this page or download it in pdf there you have it guys i hope that was helpful if it was please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends in the uk you just might be helping somebody i have a whole lot of other videos about living in the uk working in the uk and all that make sure that you click on one of these videos showing on your screen and i'm going to see you there thanks for watching